God bless each one of you. You know, in today's world, we can notice how many people care about money, many people care about fame, many people care about a lot of things. Many people seek their life, you know, trying to see something that's meaningful. You know, they'll they'll look for they'll look for many things in life. But we should all know that life, this life specifically, is very temporary. Why I say that is the word says. That this earth is only temporarily. And brothers and sisters, Christ is soon to pick up his people. And right now the world is trying to deceive us. Not only as Christians, but all people. Not only trying to deceive us, but put blindness on our eyes. And how the things of the world is sinful. The things of the world is evil. The things of the world is meaningless. And how those who seek on the things of the world... Seek what the world desires. But it says in a way how, how those who seek the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, seek what the Holy Spirit desires. And us as Christians, us as followers of Christ, we should be seeking Christ and doing the will of the Father. For it says in the Word, it's not the one who says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of the Father will enter. And brothers and sisters, the question is right now, are you serving the Lord? Are you turning from the things of the world and coming truly, fully to Him? Are you coming with your full 100%? Because this is the question. This is your time now to come fully to Jesus Christ. To repent of your sins and come fully to Jesus Christ. That He died on the cross for us. He died for our sins. So that if we come to Him fully, with repentance, fully, knowing that we are a sinner in need of a Savior. That we are saved by the very grace and the mercy of God. Because of what his son did on the cross, he is the very atonement for our sins. The question is, are you saved? Are you ready for the coming of Christ? Because in today's world, how the technology is getting bigger, how the things on YouTube, the things on Facebook, the things on all these different um, platforms, how they are deceiving us and keeping our eyes off track. How we need to keep our eyes on Jesus Christ and not the things of this world. For Jesus said that he is the light and the things of the world is full of darkness, brothers and sisters. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Not through these false religions. It's through Jesus Christ. People think Jesus is a religion. It's not a religion, brothers and sisters. It's that if you fully commit yourself, convert, convert your life from the world to Jesus Christ, and now the Holy Spirit will start taking you through steps, growing in the faith, growing in holiness, growing in the fruits of the Spirit, how we are changed and transformed by the very blood of Jesus Christ that he spilled for us on the cross. If you haven't, come to Jesus Christ now fully. Come to reconcile with him fully now. For the time is now to repent. It says in the word, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. And I know that that time is very soon. Like it says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only and beloved Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Your time is now to come to Jesus Christ. Repent and believe in the very gospel. Believe in the everlasting message. Believe in the, in the good news. Brothers and sisters, the time is now to be saved. The time is now to repent. The time is not to be saved by Jesus Christ. Know that the things of this world is meaningless, but the things of God is everlasting eternal. God bless each one of you, and remember, Jesus loves you.